Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're doing what if Hinata gave Naruto her Byakugan. So let's get into it. Wait, wait, nigga. Alright everyone, this is the finale of what if Hinata gave Naruto her Byakugan of part 1 of Naruto. And yes, as I stated in my last video, well, you should have, there, if you guys get 5 likes on this video or 5 comments, I will go and do the Shippuden version of this because it won't be ending with the Akatsuki, unless my what if series like in part 1 of Naruto ends with the Akatsuki being dealt with. Then there will always be a Shippuden if you guys reach five likes and five comments and there's about a game more subscribers It'll go up a little bit more from five to ten ten to twenty and so on and so forth <clears throat> So yes, let's get into the what if now <clears throat> Naruto hmm. I'm gonna do this I believe we left off with Sasuke actually leaving, um, actually preparing to leave the village. So, due to this fact, Sasuke, um, Sasuke leaving, you know, um, he would, the sound for, well, the sound for seeing Sasuke, you know, defeat and talk with Kakashi, they would think that they could use this to persuade Sasuke. And, well, would we'll basically do the same as much as he can and except this time Sasuke will be willing to go with them he does not care because his brother just chose someone else over him he he actually told him that Naruto was more important than him that he didn't care about him at that time that all he cared about was Naruto that deeply wounded Sasuke's pride because the man that he's been you know getting stronger to kill doesn't want anything to do with him. He wants something to do with Naruto. You know, that deeply hurt Sasuke. So, moving on, Sasuke would head out. Well, the sound the sound four would leave, but Sasuke would leave after them. And this would cause Sakura to spot Sasuke and would see him leaving the village. Now Sakura would try to stop Sasuke. And Sasuke you know would knock her out, but before knocking her out, Sasuke would say thank you for everything, Sakura. But if I was allowed to, you could come with me, but you're not. You belong here in Konoha with Naruto and the rest. Goodbye. As Sasuke disappears from the Hidden Leaf Village and gets their head start. So the next morning, Sakura will wake up as he's on the bench and will head out to the Hokage to tell, well, actually to Naruto, actually, to tell him that Sasuke has left the Hidden Leaf. And this conversation would go much towards canon is they would head off. Well, I don't think this actually happened towards canon. I believe she went to Hokage first. But yes, they would go. Um, she would go and ask Naruto to help her. And Naruto would take her to the Hokage for them to get the mission. And so she know we to go along with him. Now, this is where one minor change happens. Well, somewhat major yet minor. So... When Naruto is um there, Tsunade would tell Naruto that his sensei is in the village at the moment and his note is not on a mission. That he had just got it back, you know, yesterday last night and should be well rested enough for to go along. So he would she would then tell him to go gather Chikamaru and other people and to well how do I say this? Um well, yeah, Shikamaru and other Genin to help along with the mission with well, with Naruto leading the mission as a Chunin instead of Kakashi leading it. So Naruto will do this and will go and will tell Sakura to go get Kakashi and tell him to meet them at the gate. So Naruto will go and grab Neji, Shikamaru, <clears throat> Kiba, and Choji. Now, this will be much more of the lineup that they used against Sasuke in the first, and you know, the originally, but Kakashi will be there this time. So, they will begin to make leeway, with Naruto, with Naruto, you know, going, well, Naruto, 
being a leader this time. Now he Naruto would um place Shikamaru in charge of tactics and everything. Knowing that with Naruto knowing that his only weakness is that he's not as tactically smart he's not tactically smart like Shikamaru. He doesn't have that high of a battle IQ. He does well he doesn't have a high of an IQ no matter what. So you will put Shikamaru in charge. And they would get in that same formation except there would be Kakashi directly in the middle. With I believe it was not Choji not Kiba was it? Kiba was in the front. I believe Neji was either in the middle or the back. Anyways, moving on from that. They will first come across Sasuke well across the sound for Shinobi Jirobo. And will be all be ensnared in this trap. Even Kakashi, because you know, it kinda blindsided them. And Kakashi didn't think, oh yeah, these are tuning level ninja. You know, maybe tuning level ninja that Orochimaru sent towards Sasuke because as he can tell, Sasuke isn't even tuning level. Naruto was well Gara with using his BG would be make a, at least a Jonin level would have to take at least a Jonin level ninja to defeat him. Now a Chunin should be able to hold him off long enough, but Sasuke wasn't able to even do that. Sasuke was just getting smacked around. Sasuke wasn't even able to put up a fight, so after learning this from Naruto and Sok, well, Naruto, he got she deemed that Sasuke was definitely not tuning level. He was high getting borderline tuning, but not tuning level. So, Kakashi, either way, um, would think of, you know, something. He couldn't really think of anything, actually. And, well, Naruto would then tell everyone to pulse as much of their chakra as they can with Naruto looking inwards it's not so begins to think as he finally enters it as he opens his eyes it's not so says QB so QB says what your chakra it's poisonous to everything else to well to humans right who can absorb chakra right right that is true well, unless you have the red egg on, but I doubt it. So if I was to force out some of your chakra, he would, yes, it will severely, severely weaken him enough for you guys to get out. All right, can you leave me some chakra, please? Hmm, the almighty Naruto Uzumaki ask, saying please to me. <laughs> Fine. As Naruto would begin to, you know, have a tail form behind him as the rope as Naruto begins to pulse all the chakra he can, as so does everyone else. With Naruto pulsing the most, as this causes the robo to be severely weakened enough to where he will drop the dome that absorbs the earth dome that absorbs their chakra and everything, allowing Choji to start their fight. Now, moving on, they will everyone will continue on leaving Choji behind. With Kakashi telling Choji that he should be able to at least be able to. Kakashi gave Choji, not Choji, gave Choji a pep talk telling him that if he does not defeat Jirobo, that all of his precious people will die and that he's, they're putting his trust in him. That if he can do this, this shows that he is willing to do anything. It will most likely be promoted to tuning after this. If he can do it. It's just something that I said. That Kakashi told him. And Soji will then go on to take on Jirobo. And moving on, they will catch up to another sound sound for Shinobi. This being this being Kitimaru. Kitomaru. Kitimaru. Not Kimimaru, but Kitimaru. I always get them confused on which one is which because of the name. But yes. As Neji would decide to take this opponent on, you know, tell the rest of the team that he'll catch up later. That this you know that this shinobi doesn't stand a chance against the Hayuga. Now Kakashi, you would definitely know that Neji should be able to handle this. With him knowing that Neji is tuning level, but because of his ignorance against Naruto, he lost to Naruto. Oh wait, no, no, because um, not because of his ignorance, be, be, but because of the power buff base that Naruto basically got received, which was the Byakugan. <laughs> you know Neji. You know, lost to Naruto. He says that if Naruto wouldn't have got the Byakugan, Neji probably would have beat him. Beat him, but but Naruto's you know ability to come up with plans on the fly, 
is size surpassing that of Ned Dunn could su probably surprise Ned Dunn and Ned Dunn to win. So Kakashi would tell the rest of the team that they need to continue moving and would, would do so. With them encountering the, one of the, the third members of the Sound 4, this being Sakon and Ukon. Now, <clears throat> now with them being a two person, like basically two people, Kibu will say that this is probably best for him and Akamaru, with Kakashi saying that that is true because any that basically Kiba doesn't have any good teamwork with anyone else but Akamaru, and that this is like a teamwork mission basically, and will help improve his teamwork with Akamaru even more. Now, Kakashi will tell Kiba good luck, and that um to do his best and not and to try not to give up too soon to hold him off as long as he can or if possible kill him. So, moving on, they will continue on where Shikamaru, um, they're all caught and they all hear a sound of a flute or a caught in a genjutsu. Now, Nar the QB was see immediately seeing this will flood Naruto with chakra, causing Naruto's chakra to basically, well, his chakra to erupt from Naruto, breaking both Kakashi and Shikamaru out of the genjutsu. Now, Shikamaru will say that, um... He's a long range fighter and he's more of a mid range to close range fighter. And that he could take her on. This is probably the best thing to do. With Kakashi saying that it will most likely be best if he takes him on, but if Shikamaru believes that he can do this, then he will allow it. And with Sas not Sasuke, Kakashi and Naruto will continue on. So, with this, Kakashi and Naruto constantly go is. Um, another member comes and picks up, as they saw that, well, not, as they saw someone else would come by Tayuya and take the gourd thing that's basically, the jar thing that Sasuke is in. And they would, they would go and chase after this person. Now, they would eventually catch up to the person and we learn that this is Kimi Maru. Now, um... Sasuke would burst out as Kakashi would tell Naruto that it's probably best if he handles Sasuke. And, well, this would, um, he says, tells Naruto that he can handle Kimimaru. And would tell Naruto to continue on. Now, this match with Kimimaru would go relatively good for Kakashi. It would come with a better end result for Kakashi than it would have for anyone else. Since um, Rock Lee knows that Kakashi is there, he wouldn't end up coming. And Gar wouldn't, you know, save, well, would, well, wouldn't have to save, you know, Kakashi. Now, during that fight, Kimimaru is pushing, um, is because of his bones, or I believe it's called Breaking Dance. It, um, it's so broken that it forces Kakashi to... Um, evolve his charring on into Mangekyo, not due to the fact that you know it forcibly awakened it. Kakashi has already had his Mangekyo awakened it, but it forced him into finding out that he could use the Mangekyo charring on the next level. That's what I'm trying to say. So Kakashi was able to use the Mangekyo and was able to kill Kimimaru by you know using Kamui on his head and basically dislocating his head from his body and all those things. Now, this will cause Kakashi to be extremely exhausted and will pass out from chakra exhaustion. And Gar will zoom past Kakashi after that and will head on to the Valley of the End or where he sends Naruto's chakra at. So, when Naruto would arrive, Naruto and Sasuke would arrive and everything. Well, it will basically. How do I say this? Like when Naruto and Sasuke, when Naruto and Sasuke would arrive, Naruto would tell Sasuke that he needs to go back to the village. That if that he won't lose another person at all. That if Sasuke continues on his path, that he'll kill him himself. And this is when someone will land besides Naruto. Naruto will say, Gara. Gara says, Uzumaki. So I'm here to help as a friend. Thanks, Gara. I could really use it. I don't think just me alone could be able to be defeat, you know, Sasuke. Gara says, right, give me some time. As Gara encases himself in a, basically in a dome of sand. Or a, um, 
spear of sand, condensed spear of sand with him himself, and decided to transform him into Shikaku, telling Shikaku that he'll allow him to run rapid if he hurts the Chiha but doesn't hurt Naruto. That he can do anything to the Chiha as long as he doesn't kill him and doesn't render him useless. Now, um, Naruto and Sasuke will begin to fight. With Naruto entering one tail mode and would basically be become too fast for Sasuke. Now Naruto will be experiencing a bit of tunnel vision. And Naruto will think I might need to activate the Byakugan for this. As Naruto activates the Byakugan. As Naruto says, Alright. As Naruto forms a Rasengan and runs towards Sasuke, as Sasuke begins to go through hand slides. And Sasuke says, Chidori! As infected by his curse, as his curse mark is activated, his Chidori turns into a different color. Like, this is like, um, not stage one, but stage two. Sasuke went into this form a lot earlier because he saw the fact is that Gara is here, along with Naruto, two Jinchurikis, with beings more powerful than probably his him and his brother alone. That he needs to start this out now, start out with full power to end them both sooner than rather than later. Now, Naruto, well, Naruto will activate the Byakugan and, uh, well, as I said, and Sasuke will finish the heads up with Chidori and they will begin to run towards each other. But last moment, Sasuke will predict Naruto's movements and would, you know, hit Naruto with the Chidori, but it wouldn't be enough, like, he would cut him, but it would be enough to disable the Rasengan, causing an explosion. But Sasuke will zoom past Naruto with the Chidori still activated, hitting Gara. As Garo is partially transformed, but this would cause, you know, with Garo's new seal that, I'm gonna say that, um, Garo's new seal that allows him better control with Shikaku, it stops Shikaku from transforming, it cause Garo to basically pass out. As Naruto, well, or basically heals Garo, basically, and as Shikaku is thinking, no, as I must give him much more chakra, but I don't think it'll be enough. And Shikaku tries to flood Gara's body with as much chakra as he can, but he knows that he'll only be able to hold out long enough that unless Naruto is willing to stop fighting Sasuke and let him go to retreat to help Gara, then, you know, he won't be able to, um, well, he won't be able to save Gara and Gara will die here. Now, Naruto will get back up. Sasuke will say, Naruto, you're in the way. Your friend Gara is there is dead. It's either you say you come out continuously come after me. Or you go and take Gara back to heal him. Naruto looks at Gara. Naruto great to see this Sasuke. If you were strong enough, you would have been able to feed me, but you're not. But you're there, almost there. This is why I must go with the Rochimaru. You must not be allowed to catch up to me. You must not allow me up to my level ever again. As Naruto gets more anger, as Ka more Kayubi's chakra will come out of Naruto, instead of entering a two tail state, Naruto will enter his three tail state. As Naruto would run out towards Gara, not Gara, towards Sasuke, with the Rasengan in hand and Byakugan activated. But his Byakugan will take on a red hue, a red coloring with a slit down the middle of it. As Naruto's about to hit Sasuke with this, this is when Sasuke will catch his hand. Okay, um, you've seen the fight between Ichigo and Grimjaw. We've seen how when um, Grimjaw was about to catch Ichigo, but Ichigo, you know, caught his hand or hollow Ichigo. I believe caught his hand that, like that. And Sasuke will look towards Naruto. Says, "Still, you're too slow, and not powerful enough." And Sasuke will elbow Naruto and would then hit him in the Chidori. But Naruto, we able to dodge it slightly, but we get hit in the top of the shoulder instead of in the heart, where Sasuke was, you know, aiming for. So Sasuke will be able to disable Naruto long enough to get away, as Naruto. The Kayubi Naruto still being in a three-tail state after just recently entering it will heal his wounds. 
So Naruto will call to Gara as Naruto can hear Shukaku's call for him to for to, for the Kayubi to lend him chakra or for this you know or for Kayubi to lend him chakra. With Shukaku knowing that the Kyubi doesn't tell anyone its name, so it didn't use his name. So Naruto hearing this, because you know he's using Kyubi's chakra, will head towards Gara slowly, but we'll finally be able to get there. As all of his chakra would go around Gara, helping aiding Shikaku in healing Gara's heart. <clears throat> Actually giving Shikaku relatively a chakra boost. Now Shikaku won't grow another tail or nothing, but he grow he gets somewhat a little bit more powerful. So after healing after you know all the chakra from the Nantes receded into Gara. Well not all of it, but the ones that he was using the part of it that he was using. Which will eventually which turned into Shikaku's chakra. Naruto will pass out. But um when awakened um well will pass out onto the onto the top of Hashirama's head. Now this battle wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be, but because Garo was there it was able to hold Naruto back enough for Sasuke to be able to you know, cause Naruto to make a choice between him or Gara. And Naruto obviously chose Gara. He won't lose a friend because another friend is going down the wrong path. He won't do that. But this being said, Naruto will wake up the next, um, well, not the next, well, yeah, the next day in bandages. Naruto will say, what, what happened? And Kakashi says, oh, you're awake, good. As Naruto says, Kakashi Sensei. As Naruto stands up, or, or sits up, as he sees another person. Jiraiya, it's not just his pervy sage. Dress is hey kid. Heal up quick. Me and you and Kakashi are leaving soon. Says, are we going after Sasuke? He says, no. Kakashi says, Naruto. <clears throat> Me and Jiraiya have come to the conclusion to train you. You, Naruto, will be going on a three year training trip. After healing up in the hospital, you'll be leaving. We'll be leaving the training trip for three years. What will happen to Sakura? Tsunade has agreed to take her on as a student. Don't worry. Sakura still will retrieve training and will most likely become a lot stronger, especially with Tsunade being her sensei or her being her instructor. But it's you that we must prepare for this, Naruto. It's you. Because, Naruto. Shinade has given you, is forcing this as an order. Anytime you meet Sasuke, you are to kill him with no remorse. Sasuke is a traitor to the leaf and has been marked as such. Not a missing nin, but a traitor. No, there's a kill on sight, but only for a hidden leaf shinobi. If you're in the bingo book. Sasuke has been classified as a B rank shinobi. B rank rogue man. He's gone too far, hasn't he? Yes, he has, Naruto. There's nothing we can do for Sasuke anymore. I'm so sorry. I guess it's fine. As Jiraiya and, um, would leave the office to go talk to Kaku. Um, Sonate to tell to tell her that they'll be leaving soon, as soon as Naruto heals up, and this is where we get into a three-day time skip at the gate of a three-day. Yeah, I said three-day, not three years. Three-day time skip at the gate of Kon at the Konoha entrance gate, gate of Konoha, basically. Kakashi and Dry are waiting there with their packs and everything, as they are waiting for someone. As they see someone. Coming in through the shadows, or a shadow, or a faraway figure of someone. His dry says, "Ah, he's almost here." Well, I guess it must be time for us to get on. As Naruto um run, begins to run towards them, she says, "Are you guys ready?" He says, "Yes." Did you say goodbye to everyone? It's not says I couldn't. If I did, it would make it that much harder to leave. Hmm. Well, I guess so. Oh well, kid. 
you'll see them in three years. It's not like you won't see them ever again. Yeah, I guess so. As Raya, Kakashi, and Naruto, um, not disappeared, but, um, well, leave the head of the village for the next three years, and this is where I'll be ending off the finale part, or part four of What If Naruto, What If He Not To Game Naruto, Herbie Akagon. So, this is the end of part one, or I mean, of part one of Naruto, and I will pick up and put in when you get, reach five likes or five comments. So, I'll see you guys later. Drip Kage out. Exactly, boy.